things from the future. <laughs> All right, guys, so I thought I'd give you a little update. It has been almost one year of faithfully using camel yarn and maher. Oh! Ew. No. <gasps> So since I made that original video, I've pretty much used the oil in my hair every time I shampoo my hair, which isn't often, but I would usually wash my hair once every 10 days. Maybe that's why I'm single. And I have noticed a drastic improvement. In fact, I really wish I had more photos and videos to show you guys of pre-camel urine days. Um, the only stuff I had, like my hair was always so greasy and messy, you couldn't actually tell. I only noticed a difference with the texture of my hair and um, the volume. Typically my hair, it's really fine and it sits really flat and kind of against my head. And then when I started losing my hair, it just was so sparse and I basically lost almost 80% of my hair and it looked it looked really bad and my hair has always been a bit of a security for me you know it's it's what makes us women feel feminine I've suffered from a lot of insecurities over the years and it may come to a surprise to you because I come across as a, a confident independent woman um, but I think every girl to some degree has some things, you know, that they don't quite like about themselves and so it's become, it's been a journey for me learning to accept my body for the way it is and to love it and to practice self-love every single day and this is so important. When my hair started falling out and my hair was such a security to me, suddenly I felt I could not control my hair falling out. So losing my hair was a really big challenge for me because suddenly I had, I could no longer control it. So I really had to dig within and just be so accepting and you know, really put this self love into practice and just be okay with it. Uh, as much as I hated it, I just sorta, you know, there was nothing that I could do about it at the time, so I just had to be okay with it. And it's so important. The things that we feed our body, the emotions, the, the words that we speak to our body really does impact us at such a deep level and we don't really know it. So why was my hair falling out? And that's not really a common thing. Um, people's hair doesn't just fall out. About two years ago, just over two years ago, I basically hit rock bottom. The worst I've ever been. And my health plummeted, it deteriorated. I lost 20 pounds in about two weeks. I was extremely anemic, malnourished, uh, and just stressed, really, really, really stressed. That's heartache will do that to you. <laughs> Ooh, it was really bad. Ugh, ugh. My hair kind of took the brunt of it all um, as my health deteriorated more, as I felt more stressed. Uh, it just kept falling out. And everything, everything just fell apart. Everything fell apart. And a lot of our physical problems our diseases are manifested by negative emotions, by um, negative feelings that are kind of harboring on the inside and it's wreaking havoc on us and it is projecting on us in a physical way. And we don't really realize this, but I kind of noticed firsthand over these last couple of years as my mental health was deteriorating and you know everything is correlated like this and the western medical world doesn't really acknowledge this quite yet um, i suffered stomach issues 15 years now and i went to every doctor you can imagine saying my stomach 
kills me every time I eat. I'm like, well, you're not anorexic. Like, you're fine. Like, if you have an issue eating, if you have pain, go on a liquid diet and take laxatives. Uh, I'm sorry, that is not uh, a quality of life for me, right? So in the past three years, I started this self healing journey, this quest to try and get myself better because medical doctors sure were not helping me and I gave up and I lost hope. And so I was on this quest and in the middle of this quest, my whole world blew up and I got really, really sick. So I finally realized that it was these negative emotions. And so, you know, when they say your tummy's up in knots, it's true. This is where we hold all of our stress. And so those bad, horrible, negative anger, everything um, that we hold inside will present themselves in a physical manner. So just remember that. Have a, have a look at the words you're speaking to yourself and the emotions that you're harboring inside yourself because that plays a direct impact to how your body is going to respond. So I'm happy to report that after a year, my hair is a lot better. It's not 100%, it's not how it used to be, but I mean, it's only been a year, so your hair only grows so much. But I've definitely noticed a difference in the volume and the texture and just the overall vitality of, of the hair itself. So if you're, <laughs> if you're struggling, oh, this feels so weird. <laughs> it's sure not a motorcycle uh, video, but hey, I'll start something new. Rosie's Beauty Trends of 2018. <gasps> I went back down to the kiosk to buy some more because I'm just so sold on this product. And I received the worst news ever. Um, the camel urine actually came from Yemen. And because of all the stuff that's happening over there right now, they're not doing any trading export import anymore. And they said, unfortunately, they're not going to receive any anytime soon. I have found um, a couple other products that I was actually using in conjunction with camel urine. Uh, I found a product called Neem Oil and I ordered it off of Amazon. It's a tree from India. There was warnings on the Amazon reviews saying, be prepared, this stuff stinks. And I'm like, I can handle that, sure, right? Uh, no, no, no. And you can't wash that stuff out of your hair for days, weeks. It stinks, it really stinks. And so don't expect to go any to any social situation. <laughs> I tried that, yeah, wasn't too sold on it. Um, I also tried rosemary oil, which is amazing. And you can actually find this ingredient in most shampoos and most conditioners. It is a natural hair enhancer for growth, for vibrance, for you name it. Rosemary oil is awesome. So I use this in conjunction with the camel oil. And since coming back to Oman, I also found another product that I've been using, uh, which is horsetail oil, which has nothing to do with a horse. It doesn't come from a horse. It comes from a plant called horsetail. And this stuff is also amazing as well. I got it here in Oman. You can see the Arabic here. Um, but I'm pretty sure you can order this stuff off of Amazon. I will include any links below to some of the products. Uh, so that is my hair story for you. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> Bye. I can do the beauty vlogging stuff, right? Uh, ow. Oh.